Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video I am showing you what's inside this April scroller box. I know it's May, but the box arrived on the 24th of April and filming videos takes time. Let's open the box. Okay, what's in this box? We've got... This feels like pens. Oh. We've got a water brush from Derwent. Then we've got a sticker and a description. And lots of watercolors. Yeah, watercolors, yeah. So we've got Raw Sienna, Ultramarine Blue Dark, and we've got Lemon Yellow, Alizarin Crimson Hu, and another, no, this is Chinese White, and we've got Green, this is uh, Hooker's Green Dark, and then we have got a lot of sharpening to do. A China Graph pencil for films, plastics, china and glass in um, black and another one in white. So it's going to be interesting to see how to incorporate these in a uh, watercolour painting. Also got the obligatory sweet. Um, might eat that later. Sticky toffee. And we also have, of course, the the scholar zine. Let's have a look. This is uh, from this month's artist. Oh, I really like this. It's very nice. I do like animal art, so this is right up my street. And uh, the artist is um, from England, called Camilla, ba Camilla Gardner, and she comes from Durham. And she obviously likes to paint animals. So, yeah, this is quite nice. And finally, a pad, obviously, again in A5, so it fits in the box. Uh, it's quite thick, which is good. Eight sheets, cold pressed. Yeah, this is nice and thick paper to use with the watercolors. I like working with watercolor, so I'm quite happy with this. Not sure if I will be using this because I, I have used these before and I prefer to use proper brushes to be honest but this seemed to have a different system and uh, we'll try it out so there we go this is this month's box I will do the obligatory uh, swatch test and um, and the challenge for you These Dela Rowney Aquafine watercolour tubes have 8ml richly pigmented and lightfast watercolours. The colours in the box are Lemon Yellow, China White, Ultramarine Dark Blue, Raw Sienna, Hooker's Green Dark and Alizarin Crimson Hue. The retail price per tube is £2.60 and the total for all paints is £15.60. This Derwent push button water brush is medium size. The push button releases the water.
The retail price for this brush is £8.75. These two Royal Sovereign China Craft pencils come in black and white. These pencils work on all sorts of surfaces such as glass, plastics, film, wood and glass. The retail price for each is £1.99. This A5 watercolour pad is cold pressed and weighs 300 GSM. The pad has 8 sheets and it retails at £4.99. I am testing the paints and pencils on a different paper by German company Hahnemühle, who produce high quality paper. This one is cold pressed. First I wanted to see how the China Graph pencils work with the watercolours. Both are quite useful pencils, the black for outlines you want to make visible and the white could be useful for highlights and bits you want to keep white. Here I am testing all colors with less and more water.
I also wanted to try and mix colors, so here I am trying to mix orange. And here I'm mixing green. I don't really use China White much, so here I am adding it to the blue. Here I am testing the China Graph pencils again by adding them on top of the green and then adding more color. I don't think this works very well. The white is not really visible. I think it's best to just use it before you add any paint.
And here's my finished test sheet. So this month's scrawler challenge was Birds of a Feather. And as I like birds, I like the challenge theme. Here's the painting by this month's artist Camilla Gardner. I really like this painting. I first had to look for some bird inspiration that works with the limited colors I had for the challenge. I opted for different types of parrots and found these images on Pixabay. The blue doesn't quite match the blue of the parrots, but I had to work with what I got. With this first one I wasn't very happy with the background, so I decided to just keep on painting more birds. I tried to use all colors and also mix them as needed. As there was no black watercolor in the box, I used the black china graph pencil for the black areas. The white pencil was also useful. The only thing I didn't use was the water brush as I prefer to use traditional watercolor brushes in different sizes. I was quite happy with this month's box. I like watercolors and these are high quality paints. The China Graph pencils are also super useful and I will certainly use them in future paintings. I also enjoyed this month's challenge as I like drawing and painting birds. This challenge gave me a chance to practice. Though I don't use water brushes very much, I thought the design of the Derwent brush was very good. The sweet was also very tasty. I love chewy sweets. I hope you liked this video. If you have a question, please feel free to leave a comment. And if you have suggestions for other videos you want me to make, let me know too. And if you want to support this channel, you can do so by liking, sharing and subscribing. You can also donate to this channel via PayPal. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and happy painting until next time.